tragedy. The late Queen's cousin sacrificed acting career to serve royal duty and passed away in pain. Princess Margaret, who was known for her glamorous lifestyle but troubled love life, died at 71 years old on February 9, 2002, after months of health problems. According to Vanity Fair, Princess Margaret and Queen Elizabeth were the best of friends growing up. Princess Margaret was Margaret, and the Queen was Lilibet. Princess Margaret served as a bridesmaid at Queen Elizabeth's 1947 wedding to Prince Philip, and the two sisters had a direct phone line in between their homes so they could talk to each other whenever they pleased. Even after Queen Elizabeth officially became Queen in 1952, but their public lives were very different according to Newsweek, which led to some friction behind the scenes. As monarch, Queen Elizabeth was drawn to duty. She had a purpose to serve the people then under the British Empire. There was notoriety, there was decorum, and there was a reason to get up every day, even if the public attention could be stifling at time. Princess Margaret, though, seemed to struggle to find her place, throwing parties and, per vogue, having wild moods. She suffered a stroke on Friday afternoon, the latest in a series that had left her paralysed in recent months, and developed heart problems overnight, Buckingham Palace said. The Queen, with great sadness, has asked for the following announcement to be made immediately. Her beloved sister, Princess Margaret, died peacefully in her sleep this morning at 6.30am in the King Edward VII Hospital, an official announcement from Buckingham Palace said at the time. To many, she was a royal rebel, favouring a party lifestyle. She chain-smoked and was known for her acerbic wit and sometimes cruel put-downs. But according to biographer Theo Aronson, her reputation didn't bother her in the slightest. She once told the French poet and filmmaker Jean Cocteau, Disobedience is my joy. Despite this, she remained loyal to her sister, Elizabeth, who became queen when Margaret was 22 years old. It was shortly after her sister's coronation that Margaret announced her engagement to Captain Peter Townsend. But the marriage never took place. As a divorced man, he was not deemed to be an appropriate match to someone so close to the line of secession. During World War II, Queen Elizabeth II, then a princess, and her younger sister, Princess Margaret, were sent away to safety like many other children who were evacuated. They spent most of the war at Windsor Castle, about an hour away from London. It was during their time at Windsor the sisters embarked in a pantomime where Princess Margaret's talents emerged. Had she not had royal duties to attend to, Princess Margaret could have had a successful career on the stage as an actress and mimic, a royal expert has claimed. According to the princess's governess, Marion Crawford, who was known fondly as Crawfee, Princess Margaret showed an interest in the theatre from the moment she could talk, as she would reenact most of the parts of the pantomime she went to see at Christmas. In her book, The Little Princesses, published in 1950, Miss Crawford told how Princess Margaret had a considerable talent for acting, as she would leave the whole family in fits of laughter and her impressions of others. But she could never take to the stage professionally, as she was a princess, Miss Dismore continued. Later on, she became known as a very good actress and a very good mimic. Had she been allowed to take up acting professionally, she would have been very good at it. However, this did not stop Princess Margaret from meeting Elizabeth Taylor and Grace Kelly, 